Welcome to another edition of Slowbest Best Review. My name is Gladys Osei Oredu and I thank you all for your time. You can be part of today's discussion through WhatsApp and the number is 0544334722. It would very soon appear on your screen. You can WhatsApp to ask your comments and thoughts. Um, last week, we, we could not read your WhatsApp. Um, we will be doing that today and so be part of today's show. And um, like I always do, happening tonight, award-winning reggae artist Black Rasta Blessings is launching his ancestral moon splash, hmm, this name, ancestral moon splash album at the Labadi Beach Hotel. And you know, Miss Ghana Beauty Pageant 2013 is just about starting at the State House Banquet Hall. So as usual, showbiz will keep you posted. Uh, but did you know that the man known as the godfather of hip life music appears to have outgrown that label? Well, he is now etching his name among the League of Men classified as business moguls. From being a musician to owning a nightclub, he has now started manufacturing his own brand of condoms, the Rockstone condoms. Not long ago, the Hip Life founder Regis Rockstone's office at Grand Papa swept four awards during the Accra Nightlife Awards held sometime in March, topping the list of award winners. Grand Papa Regis Rockstone, after his retirement from music, runs the Rockstone's office and Grand Papa's pub, and whenever he has had the opportunity to talk about his retirement career, he has sounded very excited about his business. Businesses. Selling booze and why check can be a future. I sound like Muhammad Ali going in the ring, right? <laughs> Make our brag. Well, he's adding the condoms brand Rockstone Condoms to his already successful businesses, makes it appear Grandpapa has been bitten by the mogul bag that has influenced many others in the music fraternity. Ah, woke up this morning, crack a dawn and just when he introduced his personalized brand of condoms, the Rockstone condoms, onto the local market, the product landed straight within taxable products. But Reggie appears unfazed by the new tax. He says the 1% tax introduced by government on some selected products, which includes condoms, is almost insignificant and should not affect his market. Reggie Rockstone recently joined the business moguls when he introduced his personal condoms brand, Rockstone Condoms, onto the market. Just when Reggie launched Rockstone's condoms commercially, a 1% tax increase has been introduced on imported products and condoms happen to be part. But Reggie says the imposition of the 1% tax is not going to affect his rock doms, as nicknamed by some clans. Yao says he's selling condoms, they put taxes on it. It's a hell of a coincidence, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's no biggie, really. To say the truth, it, it won't stop me. Reggie has not tried and tested his condoms personally himself yet, but he has two ways he wants to go about it. I have a very viral young brother who has a, a, a very young, pretty girlfriend. So I'm gonna give, I give, I, I give it to Kato to try it on easy. <laughs> Reggie says he has lived life to the fullest and gives glory to God. He is also religious, you know. Even though he sells these boobs in the night and now condoms. Ah, woke up early this morning, crack a dawn, had a pillow. No all right, so tonight we're looking at a couple of issues. For instance, the Ruxton condoms and the tax. Well, you can send your comments on that one. Again, we are going to be analyzing. Um, you know, Sally has arrived. Sally has gone through um, her press conference and she, in fact, has said that nothing happened between her and Nando. And the fact that her boyfriend, Praetitia, waited for her to come. He did not judge her, but waited for her to come to ask her. Her boyfriend has spoken with her, and she loves him for waiting for her to come back before she asks, you know? <laughs> well, and so, well, what I will do tonight is uh, we all need to really understand what Sally is talking about. Did she have sex, or she did not, or it's none of her business? Well, um, it's up to you to decide and contribute to, uh, through the WhatsApp number so that we all have, you know... <laughs> well, I, I, I don't really want to spill that. <laughs> They've been out of the well. So what is actually going to happen tonight? We'll be talking about Sally, every aspect 
of what she's been talking about and everything in the house. But before my critics join me, and today I have a surprise for you, a studio guest I will be introducing to you very soon. I would want us to watch Sarah doing her own thing during the Vodafone Icon session. Honestly, I feel terrible at the moment because being in the bottom three wasn't cool at all. And trust me, even the nerves didn't help me perform well. I, I, I really prepared to give out my all. I, I tried so hard to, to deliver. But even in the in the midst of the pain and the tears, I, I think I put up a good show and the judges liked it. And I hope everybody who watched will also like it. And please keep the votes coming. All friends, ICGC, Meridian, Central University, everybody, multimedia, everybody, please keep the votes coming in. Well, so that's was Sarah doing her thing. Um, Sarah used to, um, not used to, Sarah is actually with us and she, before she entered the icons, she was directing Showbiz Review alongside David. So you can help us get Sarah to the top. Um, you, you can just vote through Vodafone number. Um, if you, that is if you use Vodafone, you can vote, send Sarah, yes Sarah to 3030. Yes, Sarah to 3030. And any other network apart from Vodafone, make it Yes, Sarah 1732. Let's all join this crusade to get Sarah to the top and you'd see her here. You know, it would be nice to interact with Sarah as the Vodafone icon, Serena. You know, I'll share that pride and I hope you look forward to sharing that pride too. So let's all work together. I mean, forgive me if I'm being biased, but hey, I mean, it's normal. Charity begins at home. <laughs> Well, right. Yes, so um, last week we could not go through some of your WhatsApp uh, messages. And today I wish to go through a few of them before my critics and our studio guests join us. So um, somebody says that, uh, who is Priority One? And is it Nando or his friends on Facebook? Selipa. So I, I believe you, you're talking to um, when Priority actually issued warning to some of his friends on Facebook. And then this one says that I, uh, okay, well, I forgive me, I won't be able to say this one on air. All right, so somebody says that I think Nando has really been infected with the STD by Sally. What makes you think so? <laughs> well, I wonder what you saw that makes you think that Nando really has been infested with the STD. Well, um, I really can't wait for our creators to join us. They seem to have a lot up that they want to talk about. So let me just let you enjoy um, Becca's video briefly and then I'll be joined by my critics very soon.
right, so um, before we still get into events, I last this week actually we had the Miss Ghana team, uh, Miss World team actually visiting Ghana for a five day working visit and they today will be taking part um they will be yes taking part in the miss ghana beauty pageant miss ghana 2013 but during their visit they paid the kids to call on the president at the flagstaff house where the president actually indicated that ghana would like to play host to miss world pretty soon yes so um i'd like us to watch the president listen to the president talking about how he intends and hopes that ghana becomes a host for Miss World very soon. Miss World 2012, you and Jia and Tourage, who are organizers of the Miss World beauty pageant, Miss Ghana 2012, Na Ukaili Shuta and her runner-up, as well as executives of exclusive events, were at the Flagstaff House to officially inform the president of their partnership with the health ministry to improve health care delivery in the country. The aim is to bring health delivery or health services to the door of the less privileged in society. Now, our reigning queen, Miss Na Ukaili Shuta, has been has been very instrumental with the support of her runner-ups in championing the causes of infant maternal mortality in the northern regions. The big project at hand is to refurbish the, the fourth floor of the Kolebu maternity block. President Mahama lauded their efforts, cataloging government interventions in health, especially aimed at reducing maternal mortality. I'm happy that um, Ms. Ghana has been involved in all these humanitarian uh, causes and it's become a tradition for Ms. Ghana now to choose you know some humanitarian work that they do and we wish to thank you and admire you uh, for that with regard to the Miss World event um, certainly we will support you if, if that that could happen I don't know where it's taking place in Africa before maybe in South Africa I was going to say obviously it might be South Africa in South Africa so maybe it's time to decentralize it to the rest of <laughs> of Africa. He urged them to do more. Twenty ladies are currently vying for the Miss Ghana crown. The pageant appears to be shifting much more towards humanitarian activities in recent times. I told you today we, I have a surprise for you. So guess who we have in the studio tonight. She is a household name who is doing great work to support many people out there. And when you see her, you definitely know who I'm talking about. It's always a pleasure to welcome her wherever I meet her. And so it's also, again, a pleasure to welcome Gifty Auntie into the studio. Um, we do it the high five here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, let me just give you a bit. Do you remember um, F-O-R-M-E-R? F-O-R-M-E-R. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, I don't. No, but you just tell us the word. <laughs> Glad is why do you want me to? <laughs> no, this one is dictation. Today I'm calling the show. F O R M E R M E R. Yeah. Former. Okay. You remember that they walked me to the sound studio <laughs> to make sure that you taught me to pronounce that word correctly. So that is <laughs> some kind of training I've gone through her hands back at GBC. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to get say that. <laughs> but I need it. It's a pleasure to host yeah. you on Showbiz Review. Yeah. Um, quickly tell us about your project that you do with out there. Well, it's a Girl in Need Foundation. Um, yeah. It's basically a foundation to, it's a charitable organization or foundation to raise funds to support the young girls 18 years and below who find themselves in abusive environment mm -hmm. or because they need some money to go to school or to learn a trade. We are asking Ghanaians to contribute one Ghana city or more anytime they have it to help us take these girls out of the abusive environment and ensure that they go back to school or to learn a trade so that they have they make some meaning out of their lives mm -hmm. so we call it the girl in aid foundation mm -hmm. one ghana city for one ghanaian girl mm -hmm. so if we have about a million ghanaians you All know contributing just one ghana, ghana city, city the number of girls we can help and take them back to school or give them a meaning mm -hmm. you know in life yeah. 
I mean, it, it would be awesome. I, I, I don't even want to ask why you embarked on this because it yeah. is at just about time that somebody took it up. And right. so it's great work you're doing. Thank but you. where do we get to send the money, the one Ghana City? Where do we drop it? We have an account with the First Alliance Savings and Loans. Um, they are all over. You can, anytime, you, anywhere you see them, you walk over, you can make a contribution. You can write a mm -hmm. check in the name of the Girl in Need Foundation. We have boxes at the NIB, National. Um, National Investment Banks okay. across the country, no, not across the country, in Accra and then Tema. Okay. Anytime you walk in there, you can see the boxes, you put the money in there. We have one at Orca Deco on mm -hmm. the Spintest Road. There's one around um, Kaswa, that's mm -hmm. a quantum energy. Mm -hmm. And we are still pleading with people, I mean, restaurants and hotels, and banks, supermarket, full stations to allow us to come and place the boxes there mm. so people can contribute. There are Ghanaians who are willing to help, but they simply don't know where to go I mean, to make their contributions. Mm. So this is what we want to do. We're just dropping the money into the box? We drop the money in the box. Okay, I'll make it a business to look for the boxes. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> no, in the other side. Oh. Keep it for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't worry, you can you can open it. We make sure it's right. tightly sealed. Yeah, okay, yeah. right. This is a beautiful project you're embarking on, mm -hmm. and we would like to wish you well and congratulations on what you're doing out there. Yeah. But before I let you go, um, we always we are very used to you talking, and you have yeah. that sweet voice. But we are not sure if we ever heard you sing with that sweet voice. <clears throat> You know, uh, my family always says that it's only when I want to embarrass them that I sing in public. But let me sing this. On the 27th of July, that's next week, Saturday, we are going to the village of Hope, Orphanage. So if you want to come, please come join us. If you have a donation, just give it to us and we'll go and give it to the orphans. I, sh I sure will be your manager. This is more of a, a recital. <laughs> no, 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 no. I will be your manager. Trust me, we'll be going places. Great. Like imagine Miss Ghana, Miss yeah. World and you Beauty know? Auntie is yeah. her solo. Yeah. Uh, what's the title again? We are going to the village of Hope Orphanage. That's then a long title. <laughs> this one, I'm sure when I get anywhere, I call this title. You know, we'll, we'll just be adding the. Yeah, you know, yeah but you know, this is just nothing. When was the last time you kissed? <laughs> I didn't teach you that one. <laughs> no, I, I really didn't teach you that one. We learn everything from the classroom. Um, few days ago. Ah, yeah, it's, it's lovely to hear. But maybe story. I'll get one tonight. Oh, he's a <laughs> lucky man. Um, okay. I'll tell you later. We don't want to go into that <laughs> one yet. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Uh, yeah. Good to see you again. Too. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful talking to you. And please thank don't you. grill me when you meet me outside that I put you on the spot. <laughs> I shall retaliate. <laughs> that is what I'm saying for everyone to hear. I know what you've been doing to me. So we have been interacting with Gifty and the AIDS broadcaster. She is with DTV. She does the standpoint. And she's embarking on a beautiful project that we all need to support her on. Just drop one CD, one Ghana CD, just one Ghana CD. So Stambik Bank, just... Is this coming back? No, NIB, NIB National Investment National Bank. National Investment Bank. Yeah. Yes, National Investment Bank. Yeah. Please locate Kaswa. Syntax, or wherever you find NIB, please just drop one Ghana CD. It doesn't take too much to drop one Ghana CD to support a needy girl out there. Right, so in a moment, my critics, Bertrand Nana Texan and Ernest Della Aglanu, will be joining us to do the analysis of today. Sally is our beef. She's our main topic, and so we're going to be talking about her very soon. So don't stay, it's just stay tuned. Don't go away. That's what I mean. Don't go away. Stay with us. Showbiz Review, we are back in a moment.
honestly, I feel... All right, yes. So, um, again, that was Sarah. Please remember to vote for Sarah. Yes, Sarah to 3030 on Vodafone. And yes, Sarah to 1732 on any other network apart from Vodafone. So Vodafone, 30, yes, Sarah, 3030. Yes, Sarah, 1732 for all other networks. Going straight to business, Ghana's female representative at the ongoing Big Brother Africa, the Chase reality show, Selom Gali, or Selly, has expressed shock at reports that she had sex with Tanzanian housemate Nando and infected him with a sexually transmitted infection. Well, Selly, who was one of two Ghanaians in the reality show, was evicted from the show last Sunday. All right, so we'll be playing back um, Sally's press conference in a moment, but let me just welcome our critics, Bertrand Anatexen and Ernest de la Aglanu, and then we go straight to business. Hi. <laughs> Don't worry, today Uncle Francis is not here, so I'll give you. <laughs> there has to be a balance some way, somehow. Yes, um, somebody says that, of course, you don't expect Sally to accept that she had sex in the house when the whole world was watching her. Um, first of all, I would like to say welcome to her. I think in spite of everything, we are proud of her. She took the bold initiative to go into the house. Um, I respect the fact that she at least survived past Ras you? you know, because it's very <laughs> difficult to beat a Rasta man. So <laughs> since uh, she went in there, I'm happy, I'm happy. At least Ghana was recognized. She taught a few people how to do their Azonto. She gave a lot of entertainment. I personally liked her until the Nando issue came in. My problem I have with this whole Sally Kabudel is that I think her mother should just shut up. I think so, sincerely. Mm. You know, she's just worsening the poor child's case. Now she's come up with something saying she's going to sue the guy for that. Mm. I mean, these are two consenting adults. They decided to do something. There's an STD or STI allegation. You and I were not there. And the mother says the guy has defamed her daughter for that reason. Did, was she raped? Was she fought? <laughs> Thank you. She will... She wasn't raped, as far as I'm concerned. And I like what you said. It's almost written on my T-shirt, isn't it? Yeah. She, she actually was not oh. raped. It was two consenting adults who did what they did. Hmm. And they knew what they were getting themselves into when they knew they were doing something unprotectedly. I'm sure you've heard recently that they say even oral sex can actually give you STI, STI as STI, well. Yes. Hmm. And we had a doctor call into the radio station today, and then he actually confirmed that. So you people know you did something, whether it was oral, fondling, kissing, whatever, whatever it was. You did something which was contactual. So obviously, you should not blame anybody when you have an STI. You should blame yourself. Uh, may maybe I should just be nice to our viewers so they can also um, listen to how Sally really defends herself, explain some of the things that still remains a mystery, though we have explanations to them, so that at least you, you can enjoy this um, conversation much better and make your contributions through the WhatsApp. I think I have had a very nice journey in the chase. I have enjoyed every single moment that I lived in the chase. Like I always say, I'm an only child and I was brought up alone by a single mom, so I, haven't, I didn't have the chance to go around a lot of people. So me being in the house with a lot of people and playing together, doing tasks and working as a team, and it was such a wonderful experience for me that I would forever cherish. We all know that um, being a Big Brother housemate is a very big platform for you because it can actually really boost your career. So I feel like um, you need to take chances. You have to pay a price if you want to be very successful in life. So I feel like these are some of the prices that we have to pay if you want to be contestants of Big Brother, if you want to be a housemate, and if you really want to use this platform to be successful. These are some of the prices that we have to pay. So even though I haven't seen it, I think that it's a price that I paid for being in the Big Brother house. Yeah. Nando and I did not have any sexual intercourse. We made out, yes. And that was as far as it went. So, and all these things that I heard when I came out from the house, I heard when I came out, I wasn't in the house and I didn't know about it, so I couldn't defend myself. So as to the STI allegations that he's making, right now, I'm, for me, I'm just waiting for Nando to come out and I, I want to ask him how he got the STI because I have been tested and I do not have any background of STIs. 
I do not have any background of STDs, so I don't know. I do not know how Nando contracted the disease that he claims he has. At least that's just a bit of um, what Sally actually said at the press conference. But of course, there's no art in reading the mind on the face. Yep. So Shakespeare, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I read that too. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know, first of all, I would like to thank her PR team. I think they did a really good job by coaching her well enough to know what to say at the press. Because clearly she knew she was going to be an intense pressure under such circumstances. And I think she handled it well. But if you watch the video of the encounter between the two of them, it says a different thing. Mm. You are telling us she didn't have sex. But you see, what we are watching is a different thing altogether. Maybe we should have the, uh, the video of, of Sally and Nando. Um, but that is if you're going to play the whole video. There's a part one and a part two. Yeah. I have the part one, but not the part two. Good. Okay, you need to watch the part two. Sure. The part two has a more detail. That is so what for the benefit of the people who haven't seen yes. it, like he's saying, yes. that's why some people can come up and say, oh, let's listen to what she said. Same. Because we also saw what, what happened. happened. Mm. You need to see the part two. Oh, the okay. part two clearly gives signs that they did more than just mm -hmm. made out. Mm. Mm -hmm. And Is I'm it? sure you know some people have said, please, so I'm quoting this advisedly, <coughs> and your network doesn't, you know. I disclaim if it's, thank if you it's very much, of something course. that should be All die, we die. All <laughs> sex is sex. There's oral sex. There's real sex. Sex, sex is sex. sex. So we saw, I saw, <coughs> let me speak for me, maybe the other people who watch and are claiming nothing happened pr probably have glaucoma. I never know. Me personally, what I saw was they were fondling each other from the beginning. They were touchy-touchy from the beginning. And then it got so intense. Then after a while, the poor gentleman went down into the sheet and yes. then buried his head in between the ladies of the poor lady. Mm. And then the lady started wiggling her body like a worm. Now, why would she be wiggling? <laughs> There wasn't a mosquito bite because from the, from the last time I checked, Big Brother didn't have mosquitoes, mosquitoes. at that time. It was winter. <coughs> so what was going on there? Obviously, it was oral sex. So oral, is it praying? No, it's oral no, sex. So they had sex. You know, it got to a point, not only the oral, but you could see Nando's waist. You know, we can't go... Wiggling the, the, also. Yes. yes. They were along. doing the spoon uh, position. You yes. see... Oh, really? And, and you see, clearly, you don't tell me a guy will just do that for the fun of it. Yes. Hello. And you see, at the end of it, he pulls out the towel, goes down there to and clean some right. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit detailed. Yes. And if they were sweating, she would have... And I mean, they, they, they have the air conditioned there. They have yes. air conditioned in the house. It, you you know, she, she, she could have just saved us the trouble of I going through the analysis of what we saw in the video. But really, my argument here is even we hear Sally in the house talking to Angelo at a point on one particular yes. day, talking to Angelo and Ellie Kim. Yes. And she says that there is this gossip. She hears this gossip yes. that That's she had sex and that if it's Nando who is behind... Peddling, the peddling of that rumor, she really will be angry, angry. with Nando. Then you have she to sit a here press conference and, and you how say that? you, you didn't hear that. Or you love Nando. Yes, and now you, you come... That's you, even another issue. Yeah. And you come and tell we'll us that you didn't it. hear about that, you didn't hear any of that, you actually came out of the house and you hear all that. And I'm like, hello, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hello, what is going on here? Mm -hmm. You see, we, I don't have a problem with you getting so that intimate with So who was I worried when somebody proposed that we should play back some of her videos she to said her. no. What was her problem? Because it's really, if what you're saying yeah. is exactly what you did, and you then you should just watch it. You should That's just sit back and watch. It's even good for Evidence. you. And said be no. able to tell the people that you saw wrongly. Come in. You see, you see, whilst she has the right to do whatever she wants to do, yeah. you get it. There are a lot of issues at stake here. Mm -hmm. The denial of it, mm -hmm. it is not working out at all. Mm -hmm. You see, if you do, you did it, just say you did it. Sure. I can't remember. Betty is not denying the fact that she didn't sleep no, with a guy. No, she, she's not. She has never denied it. Yeah. You get it. You did it. You are an adult. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you see, before you enter the big brother house, you know that this and this and this goes on in there. Yes. We're going to watch you in the shower. Yes. When you get intimate with somebody, we're going to see it. Yes. And she, she was aware of that before no, she no, got no, to the game. No, 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 she said she never watched. I asked her, she said she never watched. But it got to a point she, when she, she was asked me, sorry to cut you, that's the biggest pile of horse poop I've ever heard in my entire <laughs> life. She never watched Big Brother. Big Excuse Brother. who? Please, Please. tell me, boss. Because I quite remember when she was asked, were you aware that your, your shower hour and everything would be out there and stuff like that? I think she said she knows normally goes out. You see, there are answers 
is inconsistent. That's her problem. You, you know. But at least there's a fact that she loves her boyfriend Pratia for not judging for the fact that she, he did not judge her and waited for her to. And you come. see, this is the bottom line. You go in there, you get yeah. get intimate with somebody. Fine. We don't seem to have a problem. You're denying. But you see, where there's an STI involved. That is serious. Yeah. And what did you expect her to say? Come and say, oh, my boyfriend is angry with me. What, what, what? No, it's all good PR. But deep down the boy's heart, he's not happy. Because the, the guy was attacked. He was angry bashed. inside. Imagine and he had to that. publicly come out and say he will no longer take the insults and on all. Facebook okay, and all, all that. that. It was all a way of he, him venting his anger. He was, he was angry. You know what the word jealousy <laughs> is? Do you know jealousy? It's a big word. You know, <laughs> and then you come and say, Well, I like my boyfriend, he's so <laughs> understanding. Oh, please, please get please, a life. Please, they, they will be getting married soon, actually. I need an invitation. Who, who, <laughs> That's what she but, said that she said, Yeah, no, but to get you married. see, the other difficulty I have with Sally is really well, Dan says that who is Sally and Nando, who is really telling the truth? None and of them, he really. Says, I, I believe Sally is not telling the truth. <laughs> well, none uh, of them. You know, see, the Nando character is a crazy character. The guy is really crazy. If you can afford to, you were living in the states to sell off your stuffs, you get any big borrow money and fly to your country, Tanzania, just to audition for Big Brother. It tells you you are a crazy guy. But uh, you see, the other thing is, um, she says that she does not know um, when Nando got that STI that he is talking about because she has been tested. Really, if a woman has never been touched by a man and the man accuses her of infecting him with anything, why even worry about whether he's been tested or exactly. not? Exactly. Very see? good point there. And one thing I also know, by the way, we spoke to a doctor, like I said earlier yeah, on in the yeah. afternoon. According to him, there's something called hibernation when it comes to the bacteria, mm. you know. And I've forgotten the name of that bat particular bacteria, though. But it can stay in the system for even months. Okay. So for all you know, Maybe he had it before, mm. but it didn't yes. manifest it until manifest. he got into the house. Yeah. house. Okay. Or if they really had the sex, then perhaps the lady also had it before. If that is the case and she had it before, perhaps we should check prior to No, prior to too. Maybe uh -huh. he has it hiding somewhere now. <laughs> well, so this issue, <laughs> well, yeah. well, well. And another thing too is for her professing <laughs> her love for the guy yeah. after the eviction, you know, and well, then she, you come back and yeah, say, so I love know, my, boyfriend my boyfriend so much and I didn't going say to But she love. says she never said on any platform that what hasn't said she, she ever, said. She, I think she, she says she never said she loved Nando. Oh, well, I'm sure don't. But, but I, she recently said she misses the guy and she was <laughs> loved. That was you when know. she came out of the house. Yes. The eviction um, show. Yeah. She actually but said she, she, she didn't no, love see, Sulu. Wait. See, but wait. she loved Nando no, but wait, dearly. See. Or she was so engrossed in the game that she could not hear herself talk. I in think the house. so. I think she no, but wait, see, Yeah. If you come and tell me you miss Nando and you're not able to tell me you miss your boyfriend, then we hello. Have a serious no, no, no. Issue. But she was just playing the and then game when you get at home, that time. Brother, you say we are when going she to get was married. evicted, she says, says she missed Maybe she was Alice in the Wonderland. She still could not believe. Once she was still in South Africa, she did not believe she was out of the yeah. game. Selling yeah. Wonderland. Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah, I agree Wonderland. with you. Yeah. I don't care. Once she was still in South Africa, she still felt part of the game. And then when she go home, saw the, uh, the people, reality. Including my wife. And she said, oh, no, I'm with Priority. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, but I, I, in, in all, Priority has really been able to shelve himself. But I'm, I'm wondering how he's faring. But if you were Priority what would you do? I'll be very angry. You remember you asked me two or three weeks ago what my opinion was going to be or what my decision would have been. Um, even though I understand that that's the game, that's how the house is, etc., etc., I still would have pleaded or hoped that my partner would still be restraining herself. I don't have a problem if after a while, like Beverly and uh, Angela, Angel, it took yeah. a while. So now you can understand the yes. pressures of the house got to them. It's understandable. But you, you didn't know this guy. You had just heard about him. And then you go into the house, house. 24 hours. hours. You couldn't close your 20, bloody legs for 24 hours. hours? What kind of woman are you? you see, that's what makes a case, guys. Because see, with Betty, Betty and Boat, right? Yeah. They, from day one, they established their love for each, each other. other. It was okay. the right, so let me just, if you are silly and you got out of the house, what would you be talking about? I would be ashamed. I'll go to TV <laughs> Joshua. Dela, what would you be talking about if you were silly? You see, Ordinarily, with the kind of attention and the whole controversy, you should be very selective with the kind of words and things you say. And that's why you need a strong PR team. And you see, don't, you can come and tell me it's false, but you need to be consistent. You have to make sure what you're saying 
will at least study. I always I hear this when you're lying, make sure your lies have uh, what they have windows up. So, so that when they want to catch you, you can easily jump out and escape. Mm. But you see, when you get to lie and you're caught up in one corner. I mean, even if the windows are there, it's airy, so it doesn't get stuffy <laughs> like it's getting now. So you see, it's better she either shuts up, keep quiet over all these issues, try to start afresh. And she says she wants to be a star. Yes, actor. She says she's been, she's had a call from Nigeria, Nigeria. Mm. to be an mm. actress. Good for her. So we wish her well. But you know, she even said this one before she came down. I because mm. I read an interview. A, yes, a that's, she said she's got a deal from Nigeria. She so that's why I am hurt that she's saying she never said on any platform that she loves Nando. Because if she said this one somewhere where we read and it's supposed to be true, mm. what is she telling us about the Nando bit? That's my point again. I think she's been very inconsistent. One thing she forgets is there's evidence. There are people who are recording the thing and playing back. back. Mm. So whatever you say, you don't have the luxury of maybe assumption. The facts are there for people to see. But you see, I, one thing I realized is that, you know, um, she probably will be saying we just make noise and stop eventually. And it is true because mm. this is cumbersome. If you want to go back and play back all she said that she's denying today, I mean, look, imagine how much time it will take you. No, but you see, it's reputation. It, 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 reputation. <laughs> Your reputation will be damaged. Yes. Because, you know, she was asked about her, uh, her boyfriend's mm -hmm. alleged relationship with a certain woman and the fact that she, he's married to the woman. And she said what? She said, as far as she knows, that the boy is not married. Mm. Yes. And recently, while she was in the house, it came out that the guy is still linked to the woman. They have how many kids? Four kids? Four. Or three, three, three kids. kids. And, and another extra another one. A yeah. child from somewhere else. Somewhere else. So the priority actually has and four. And he's legally taking care of the kids. Yeah, and yeah he I says when he traveled and returned from UK, he brought, he brought some things for yeah. the kids. Yeah. And I heard, I don't think they've... They, is it divorce? With a separation. Woman, separation. Se separation. Yes. Separation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you want to tell me you're dating a guy? Now. Yes, you're dating a guy. You don't know the guy's history in terms mm -hmm. of. Then why they play his game very well, 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 but well. But please, okay. you're talking about a musician here mm -hmm. who is probably well known. Of course. So whatever he does, should be known. And of course, Sally has been known that much because of Prior Chetia. Of course. The fact that we knew Pratitia's girlfriend was going to the BBA, the chase, that deal. alone was a big deal. Big deal and so when she got in there, we followed closely. That's true. And that's how come we will see the wiggling and can't take that answer that she's given us. Oh, you see, today yeah. she, she was supposed to appear. <laughs> and you went there, didn't you? <laughs> she was supposed to appear on a couple of platforms today, especially two major platforms, mm. including Readings A to Z on Joy FM. Mm. And she was supposed to appear. Yeah. I produced a show. Did she come? Wait, no, no, she, she didn't. didn't. I got three uh, uh, different excuses. Which I think you predicted. I did, yes, yes. I told you. I got three <laughs> excuses as to why, from three yeah. different people as to why she didn't show Inconsistency. up. Like, Inconsistencies. Yeah. I was disapp really disappointed. So she has an inconsistent, no, she has a team with inconsistent words. I, thank you. She's mm. consistently inconsistent. Exactly. Yeah. One um, person is telling me, she says she's, she's not going to speak anymore. She doesn't want to grant any interviews. And that person goes like, oh, I'm not aware. I think she's supposed to come. So maybe she'll go to another. <laughs> And a third person tells me, oh, she's sick, so she's, oh, really yeah. she's not helping her she, case. She's stressed you know? with all the bashing you guys are giving her. She's but, not, but she's nobody's not bashing her. her. Ah, I'm she's not bashing her. And then you said that she did not have sex. So you doubt her. Isn't that enough bashing? Are you aware they said Nigeria? They're waiting for Beverly. Ooh. They are worried. She, there's a rate at which she's going. And Nigeria said they want to but bash you. Just strip, just strip, big yeah. brother. There seems to be too much. You know, no, it's a but that's the theme. That concept, that's no, the, theme. the theme, the chase. The chase. But what couldn't the theme them? has also been? Uh, couldn't the theme mm. be related to money, chasing after the money? Because the money is mouthwatering. They wouldn't ah. have set up a rendezvous room. Room, and they would look. The won't be love based. And they, from day one, they, and they, they were paired. The rewards would not be for the people who do the best romantic <laughs> gestures. Yes, Come yes. on, please. For them, I don't blame them. They're a bunch of commercial people looking for business, yes. looking for sponsorship. And it's working, actually. Thank you. They had Coca-Cola last year. Airtel came in, offered bigger money. Bigger money. And of course, they have to please their sponsors. And they have other people who have ROG and co pushing money. To yes. They are making money. Yes. Please. And because Sally sells. I'm sorry, sex sells. <laughs> So um, let me ask you two gentlemen. That's a nice one. If you are this <laughs> troubled that Sally went having fun with her under, yeah. what do you really? What's your what's your what's your beef? You first. My beef. Mm. Mm. I'm I'm a journalist. I'm a critic. Mm. I, I need to inform people. It is news. You get it. If you are in the limelight or you are, you are out there. 
whatever you do is is really important to me and my readers or my listeners need to know mm. so therefore it is my duty to talk about it and it sells okay so yes. you, you're talking like a businessman yeah. <laughs> my problem I don't have a problem. One, she's above 18. She can, no, 21. She can do whatever <laughs> she wants. That's her leg. She decides when to open, where to open, how to open, who to open it to. I don't care. Number two, when she was going into the house, she knew what she was getting herself, herself into. Mm. That one too, that's none of my business. Number three, between she and Nando, I think they're two consenting adults. There was no rip. There was no force. Else Big Brother would have expelled them. Expelled them. That one too, yes. I don't care. What I care about is one, you are traveling to the place under the flag of Ghana, the red, gold, green. That's my flag. Mm. So when you're performing, I think you should add some common sense to it. Thirdly, or fifthly, sorry, Tanzania is one of the countries noted for spread of HIV. I'm sure she didn't read that. I, perhaps maybe she can't read, maybe, who knows. Mm -hmm. So she didn't know. But Tanzania, and then you're going there having a relationship with somebody, and then you're sleeping raw. Can I say raw? No, but no, but that's they were tested. No, for HIV, they test them before they go. Uh, well, that's what that, we that just is, found out that, that the bacteria can hibernate. The HIV bacteria. No, no, no. The, but in this the, case, the, we the don't virus. Think it's not HIV. HIV, HIV it's yes. Just, the STI. Yeah, they test yeah. them for that. That's but, what we know for sure. All right. So all these things, HIV is STI. Bacteria is STI. So let's assume STIs were hibernating, you mm. know. And this is something. And first of all, you didn't even have to go further to sleep with somebody raw. But let's take her away. She says she didn't have any Even sex today, there. the guy was still talking about the fact that... Um, he still was talking about yeah. Sally. And he uh, said she doesn't even like black girls. Mm. Yes, she yes. said that today. She doesn't like black girls or brown girls. And she only like white girls. So why the... You mean Nando? Nando. Mm. That's no, that, that the, guy. I, I don't know. Guy, I abhor her. I, I hate, I'm sorry. I hate him with every bone see, and blood in the my guy body. was hungry. The guy was hungry. Aisha is a guy who was hungry because see, if the, if guy, the guy was, was hungry, hungry he because wouldn't from have even asked for a condom. No, no, no. Because see, from, what from we day gather, one, from day he, one, mm -hmm. from day one, he told me about that. His intentions. Yes, I want to get some before I leave the house. Yeah, that's what he said. From but day you, one. you see, he d and I, so I, an easy target in yes. our lady. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, I believe. But, but the house and finally, Bimp is there. Bimp. Hasn't done that. Yeah, she's held her that. legs closed. Yes, he's got he's got a girlfriend out there. He's told her, everybody. Uh, Africa knows that he's got a girlfriend out there. You get it, uh, um, Delish. Yeah, the hottest girl in the house. Yeah, yeah she's she not in a rush post. to do that. What's the difference between them and that? Don't they see all have blood? Uh, see how diplomatic Pokelo is. Thank you. With Elikem. Well, and then finally, my real beef is the last one in our culture. No matter how we behave or whatever, we still have a few cultural beliefs, principles that we stand by. When you are dating somebody and your mother even refers to the person as Nikunu, that's a big deal. It's a big deal, yes. It goes even beyond fiancé. Nikunu is a big deal. So you knew you have a kunu back home. And then you know what you're going to do. National TV. No, sorry. International not TV. Not Everybody is watching 24 hours. Mm. Even if you're, uh, you're taking a shower and you're watching you. Can you imagine? It's, it's, it's really, well, my beef too is the fact that she carried the flag of Ghana and, Ghana. Exactly and robbed it in shame. Exactly. I, and I, and unfortunately, if really, you and I were not there. But if really what went on under the sheets. Saw. What Even I what see we saw in just part one, I, I, I am told part two has details, but in the part one, what I see alone is for I, somebody I, I who I has a fiancé, fiancé, yeah. you know, and, you and then you just met the person I, I, for I, I, 24 I, hours. You see, you could have at least yeah, waited I, for him to serve you breakfast in bed, maybe tickle your feet, do manicure for you, tickle your hair, <laughs> shampoo your hair, you know, um, and then I, maybe wash your bra or something. Then perhaps you can give in to the are person. Aware, are you aware of... The way I hustled before I got my wife, you can imagine. Well, so I, I respect I, I, it. But I, I think when she came open for me, I said, say, oh, maybe are we in Vienna City or something? Have you checked our track record so far? We have somebody going out... Yeah, because last week we recounted those. Yeah, slap somebody. Slapping the good oh, slap yes, there's a slap there's a Brazilian hair, 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 hair hold my boobs and all that. Now, hold my boobs the crowning is the STI. STI. <laughs> well, um, let me quickly go through Too some bad, of our WhatsApp Madagana. messages. Well, <laughs> yeah. um, we have a m message coming from um in Coco from Kelly. He says that Gifty Auntie is really doing good job for children in the country. Well, very sad. This one says that. 
She said, liar, don't mind her. All ladies are. Oh, I beg, I'm not like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I really like you. Nana, that's a comment for you. And this one says, today the messages are just coming. Everybody, well, in the first place, BBA is evil. It doesn't teach the good deeds. Oh Smoking, sex, I mean, why? Sally's mom is greedy. Yeah, I'm sure Nana would agree with you on that. This one says, Sally is lying. She knew that she would be asked all sorts of questions with regards to what she did in BBA house. And so she has really planned on what to tell us when she comes back and that's exactly what she's doing she did, really did not I, I think she's been coached as to what to say and it's <laughs> conflicting so she doesn't really she's not straight because when we met her at the airport she actually ran away from our she's family actress, and, yeah yeah so probably she's acting it out yeah, yeah, well actress. um this one says that's uh, well i always I agree with Nana. Prior to I should quit her relationship with Unfaithful. She behaves so cheaply. And please show the video again. You guys are real. You're doing great. <laughs> you guys, so great guys. The video again. <laughs> he wants to see the video again. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I'll find a good reason to play it next week. A good reason. But there's a part two, actually. There's a part so two. So the part two, I... I, I should, part two. Yes. But the part two, I think, will be too, too hot for, for we'll the channel. Oh, it. Okay. Mm, okay. We'll find a way to censor it. Well, Sally is only trying to cover up for her disgrace. It's obvious the guy just used her mercy and she needs to compose herself we all watch the game and it's clear she fell for the guys game i mm. love the guys in the studio good analysis mercy nanda is just an immature playboy it's unfortunate Sally fell for his game that's well, a good one that's yeah. a good one yeah that's yeah. a good one and he's just because I, I mean no matter what he could have saved she did it well yeah but you, you could have saved the situation Sally is a disappointed to she's a disappointment to the nation she has even grown dark and i think she took a small pomade to the house. Ha ha ha! Well, uh, Joy News. <laughs> this is from us. Joy News. Why? Well, Tampa Justice with Mercy. Well, somebody is pleading for Sally. Says Tampa oh, Justice. Wrong, <laughs> Why, Sally? What all has she done? And there's going to be a suit, right? Yes. So, um, this has been Showbiz Review. I really wanted to find out from you something else, but probably we'll continue next week. But hey, tickets for Adam Praise with Kirk Franklin are out now. 30 CDs for regular and 50 CDs for VIP. Adam Praise is on 3rd August at the Perez Dome Job Room here in Accra. So, um, Come the third of August, that's two, exactly two weeks today. You really have to find your way to the Perez Dome at Dowie here in Accra and be part of Kirk Franklin. If you have an idea of who Kirk Franklin is, then you have a good idea how the Adum Praise is going to be like. My name is Gladys Osei Oredu. I held guilty earlier on with a sweet conversation and I had my um, critics, Veteran Nana Texan, Ernest. And we've been going through the issues, especially Sally, who has been contradicting herself and getting us all talked talk, talk. Well, it's been an interesting show with you. Join us again same time next week. And remember, Sundays, we come your way again at 10 p.m. Thanks so much for your time. Oh, 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 oh,